you guys today. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Hi, my name is Noelle and welcome back to my channel. I dropped out of physical therapy school to become a circus performer. And if you haven't seen the video from last week, I'll link the video right over here. I basically talk about one of my experiences with racism within the circus industry, how we can enact change within circus. And I showed you my full aerial roadmap, which was about my experiences. So if you haven't seen it, please go ahead, follow the link, but then make sure to come right back here so you can find out what happened. Now to the juicy stuff. <laughs> There are three things that surprised me after I released that video, and I'm about to tell you what they are. So listen up! Number one, I was surprised that people actually cared. To be honest, I thought that it was just gonna be my husband watching it, maybe my mom, and that's about it. But there were a whole bunch of people that left comments on my YouTube video and on other Facebook posts that I created about my video. A lot of people shared my video across different social media platforms, and through personal messages with their friends. Even now I'm learning that some people are showing it to the organizations that they are a part of in their own communities. And I wanna thank all of these people. I'm witnessing people who didn't agree with what I had to say and maybe who didn't even want to validate my experiences. But then they come to realize that these experiences do matter and that the fact that someone feels discriminated against because she doesn't look a certain way in this industry is wrong. And what I'm gathering from all of these comments and personal messages that I've been receiving is that a lot of people see that there is a certain look that is being perpetuated on stage. Everyone feels that there is a gap between what we see on stage and the modern day society that we live in. And everyone wants to change that. Which is helpful. <laughs> and number two, the second thing that I was really surprised about after releasing this video is that there are way more people of color that are being affected by this than I thought and that people have it much worse than me. And seeing about what people of color have experienced upon decades and decades of being in the circus has been really eye-opening for me. It doesn't just occur in companies hiring practices. There is also racism within circus studios, which has caused people of color to walk out of this industry. And I believe that no one should ever feel this way. And I got permission from someone who gave a public statement if I could use this person's testimony in my video and this person said yes and I want to commend the bravery of this person because it is not easy to speak out. People who speak out have the fear of being blacklisted, which is definitely how I feel right now. And I'm going to read it because I don't want to get it wrong. This is this person's statement. Racism is definitely real in the circus community. It isn't limited to circus companies. Studio circus culture and companies that perform for corporate events are just as racist. I've been doing circus for five years now. I've seen culture been appropriated. I've seen black injustice being used as clout by white artists. Ironically, the same artist is silent on black issues. I am the only person that trained seer in beep, but a local studio told their teachers slash students not to train seer with me because it will be a bad look. Ironically, it is okay to train at prominently white studios. A company that does corporate events told their acrobats not to be seen with me and my troupe, we are minorities, because it's a bad look. I'm glad that my friend ate lunch with us, but it didn't help that she defended her boss racist statements. What is crazy is that everybody wants to sweep race issues under the rug. No one wants to talk about it because it makes them uncomfortable. But imagine how uncomfortable I get when someone can appropriate my culture, use black injustice in a show for clout, or hear how my very existence is a bad look. What hurts the most is no one stood up for me in my behalf. I will never get an apology. At most, I will only get a political correct statement. What is more sad, I am sure other POC acrobats experience something similar. This industry will never change unless we call people out on their BS. You know, I already refilmed me talking about this several times. The first time I cried, when I read this statement and talked about it, the second time I screamed at the camera, and then there were several takes with crying and screaming. <laughs> but I would like to talk about this statement in a more loving fashion. <laughs> because I know the circus community is open-minded, because I love the circus community, because I know there are good people in the circus community, I ask that if you see racist circus culture being perpetuated like this, please call it out. But y'all know I'm heated on the inside. 
<laughs> I'd like to highlight another comment that I received from a person of color. Thank you so much for this, Noelle. I've been training for nearly nine years and performing for at least five of those, but I'm still a minor. Recently, I've started to notice these biases, and it's been hard for me to accept this as I've always been welcome, even if I'm the only POC in the cast. I saw your act at Atlanta Aerial Arts Festival a few years ago and was absolutely inspired to see someone who looks like me up on stage making it. I've loved watching your videos recently, they're super inspiring, and wanted to thank you for opening up this conversation. This comment meant a lot because if you watched my last video, you know why I pushed hard to be a circus performer and to get my voice heard on that stage. It's so that future generations of minorities may feel represented on stage. And I'm not sure if the two people that I've highlighted are watching, but your stories really impacted me and I'm never gonna stop fighting for people like you. So thank you for giving me hope. The third thing that surprised me is that I've been talking to a lot of people, I've been talking to industry leaders, and the fact of the matter is that looks do matter in this industry. And I want to know why. I say this next statement with respect to casting directors and artistic directors. I want to challenge you to imagine what it would be like if instead of perpetuating the certain looks that are okay for flyers, these certain looks that are okay for aerialists, the certain looks that are okay for acrobats. Instead of focusing on these looks, what if that didn't matter? What if it's just the heart and the soul of the performer that matters? What if it's the specific background that they came from? I want you to ask yourself, where do you hire from? Do you hire from just a certain pool of talent that have very similar experiences? Or do you hire from very different experiences, very different training backgrounds, very different cultures? that are coming together to create something for your show. And I understand that there's budgets. I understand that casting and creating shows is a very complex process, but I'm challenging you to push, to be conscious of what you're representing on stage and that you hold a precedent for the circus culture that you're creating. What you're representing on stage causes different institutions within this industry, from smaller companies to companies that are focusing on corporate events, to circus schools and circus studios. All of them are following your lead on how they're investing in their people and whether or not they believe that a certain person has the right look to make it into your company. And sorry if I'm coming at you a little harshly. <laughs> so I ask you this, why have I never seen someone who looked like me on stage before if you are considering diversity? Not exactly like me, because I don't have a twin or nothing, but <laughs> someone who is of my ethnicity, who is of my body type. Why haven't I seen her on stage yet? I do wanna bring up the musical Hamilton as an example of what diversity can be. Hamilton is about the American founding fathers. They were all white dudes with powdered wigs. And this show was filled with different walks of life. So many different ethnicities are represented on that stage in principal roles. And it's not just that. The Schuyler sisters, sisters, these are sisters that are supposed to be represented on stage. The Schuyler sisters are white women in real life. In the cast that I saw, it was two black women and one white woman. George Washington was a black man. And when these characters are recast later on, they're completely different ethnicities. There's been a Filipino Hamilton, there's been a black Hamilton, there's been a Puerto Rican Hamilton. And I'm just asking, why is it vital for the plot point of your made up circus story? to have a certain look that you want. I'm asking you to push your creative boundaries. I just wanna see different walks of life on stage that represents the society that we live in today. And from what I'm hearing from different people, from audience members who will fill your seats, is that they want something different too. And I truly believe that circus is a community where we're full of very open-minded people and where we make the impossible possible. And I'd really love to see that represented after COVID's over. <laughs> and now I want to ask you, what are your thoughts on casting? When do you think a look matters in a production? When do you think it doesn't matter? When do you think things should be an open role where anyone can join? And when do you think that it's inappropriate for a certain ethnicity to play a part? I'd really love to learn what you think in the comments down below. To be honest, I hope to be a director one day. I hope to be a really good director one day that'll make the audience proud. And I want to be prepared for when that day comes. And thank you again for all your continued support. Thank you for all the love on everything that I've been doing. If you haven't seen the racism in circus video, 
that I presented, here it is below. And if you just want to work out now because all of this is boggling your brain, then I also put down a training video so that you can just chill out. Either way, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye!